Hey guys, in this care plan, we will explore diverticulosis and diverticulitis. In this care plan on diverticulosis and diverticulitis, we will cover the desired outcome, the subjective and objective data, along with the nursing interventions and rationales for each. So our medical diagnosis is diverticulosis and diverticulitis. So diverticulosis is a benign condition where pouches will form along the intestinal wall, kind of like this. So diverticulitis involves small abscesses or infections in one or more of the divertic diverticula or even a perforation in the bowels. So diverticulosis is the thickening of the outer wall of the intestine that causes narrowing, making it really hard for stool to move through, and that will end up creating those pockets that will come out like that. And those are called diverticula. So diverticulitis occurs when those stools pass slowly through the intestine and deposit fecal matter into those pockets. Over time, this causes bacterial, growth, and inflammation. So the desired outcome is that the patient will be free from pain and infection and will be compliant with the appropriate diet and medication regimen. Okay, so let's take a look at the care plan. Your patient that has diverticulosis without the diverticulitis may not experience any pain at all. In fact, they may not even realize they have the disease at first. The patient that starts to get that diverticulitis where those diverticula in the intestines become inflamed and irritated and infected, they are going to probably have some severe abdominal pain and cramping in the left lower quadrant, along with some abdominal tenderness. Now remember, when the walls of the intestines become inflamed and irritated and thickened, it's harder for the stool to move through. So this is going to cause some constipation, which is going to cause nausea and abdominal bloating in your patient. Now let's look at our objective data. So your patient might be experiencing fever and chills if they have an infection um, or even leukocytosis. So if the patient is severely constipated, they might experience some vomiting. You might notice that your patient's guarding their abdomen just because of that pain from the constipation and inflammation and possibly infection. So the diverticula might bleed, showing up in, that, in the stools as like a bright red color or even maroon color. You might even notice evidence of the diverticula in a colonoscopy. Now let's look at our nursing interventions along with the rationales for each. So we're going to monitor the vital signs and the pain levels in our patient. We want to look out for fevers. Um, fevers and chills are both a sign of infection. Um, your patient might experience a rigid abdomen, which could indicate peritonitis, which is pretty serious. You want to try to provide bowel rest in your patient. Keep them NPO to rest those bowels, and then just advance as tolerated and ordered by the doctor. Our next nursing intervention is to monitor the hydration status of our patient because hydration is needed to help improve that intestinal motility and keep things moving and healthy. You will administer medications per doctor orders. Antibiotics might be provided for infections. Analgesics may be ordered for pain. IV fluids to help keep that patient hydrated. And bulk forming laxatives to help form those stools and keep it as regular as we can. The last nursing intervention is to provide nutrition education to your patient. Let them know they should try to hydrate with at least two to three liters of fluid a day, preferably water, to avoid constipation. Probiotics are really nice to help keep regulation of the intestinal bacteria. Tell them, say, avoid foods that trigger any flare-ups. Try to eat a low-fiber food diet. And this might be kind of a trial and error kind of thing where they have to test things out. Thanks for watching another nursing.com lesson. Click the link below in the description to watch thousands more lessons over on nursing.com. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe and the little bell to make sure you're reminded when new lessons come out. And if you want to just keep watching more lessons, go ahead and click this video over here to continue learning. Like we always say here at nursing.com, happy nursing.